forward to defend and to make right. It's time that we as mothers and as women take control of liberty and we take our culture back. I'm Carol Bundy, I'm the wife of, of uh, rancher Clive and Bundy, so I guess if you just want to call me the rancher's wife, I, I don't know who you're talking about. One of my favorite cowboy quotes is, the best preparation for tomorrow is doing your best today. So let's saddle up and ride. From the time I was a young girl, young enough to know that we become moms, I was going to marry a cowboy and I was going to have 12 kids. And I grew up on a ranch, so that was natural that I'd want to be married to a cowboy, but to have 12 kids was a little not natural. I had raised 14 kids. I had exceeded my goal, and I'm very happy where I am. Although today, today let me begin with an update of my family. I have a wonderful family. But my husband and four of my sons sat in prison today, um, along with 14 other men, political prisoners of our U.S. Department of Justice. And we fondly refer to them as the Bundy 19. Um, I don't know where my clicker is. In the, there I am. Um, they said the prison denied of all rights of pre-trial release, any right to a speedy trial, and for us, in, in my particular case, we were denied the uh, attorney of our choice. These good men have been treated as guilty until proven innocent. There's been no victim, no crime. They did nothing wrong to be living in prison today. It's kind of twisted, don't you think? Twisted?
sets home denied of his father and his brothers, betrayed by a nation that he loves. And the other patriots have the same problems in their families and they're suffering as well, and their hearts are broken. But let me tell you what, our spirits are strong. A broken heart does not break our spirit. Where do we get this kind of spirit? Where do we get this kind of conviction? Where do we get this kind of strength? Well, in 2014, the Bundy family stood for freedom. We stood to protect the life and liberty and property. And we stood for our rights to ranch, our private property rights, established in the early 1800s by Clyde's family. And we stood for the people of Clark County, Nevada. We stood for the people of Nevada. And we stood for every American that comes to visit the southern state of Nevada that they would have the right to come and stand. What were we supposed to do when they came? Just say, go ahead and take it? It's yours, because you say it is and you want it. No, we had constitutional rights and we stood for those rights. We, we pled with our county sheriff to do his job, to uphold his open office to protect the Constitution and to protect our life, liberty, and property. But we didn't get any positive response from him. So we faced down a tyrannical government. This is what we faced. Full military combat uniform. They stole our cattle. They killed many of them. They separated the moms from the babies. Some of the babies we never found. They destroyed much of the water infrastructure. And the water that we set up is not only for our cattle, but it's for the wildlife as well. So by ripping that out, they also ripped out the water for the wildlife. They terrorized my family and my friends. They tased them. They threw them to the ground. They had snipers on the heels. They had spies. They had high-tech communication system. There was verbal abuse and many threats against our family. When we exercised our First Amendment rights, we put up signs. We let them know how we felt. We were peaceful and we were calm. And we had the support of our neighbors and our family and our friends. But as people across the nation saw, more people came. But as they came and they stood beside us, there was not, not one person hurt. There was not one fire shot. And finally, finally, with the help of the sheriff's department and their deputies, we brought our cattle home. Strength, spirit, and conviction. When you look at those flags and those cowboys, what does it do to your heart? For those of us who grew up in the West, it does amazing things. It fills our hearts. Life, liberty, and property. Claimant. Use it and defend it. Those cows are kind of close to my heart, you know, kind of like you guys have your little dogs, you know, I have my cows. <laughs> my family, my family arrived in America, some of the first pilgrims, they came to be free of a king and an overreaching government. They came to be free and to own their own land and their own businesses, and they came also to worship God, how they felt they should worship God. So when they got to dry land, they got down on their knees, and the first thing they did was thank God for their newfound freedom. And then they dug their fists deep into that soil, and they went to work. And they built gardens, and they built homes, and they loved their neighbors. Because you see, that dirt was freedom and liberty.
Now for, for um, the, sorry, this love for freedom and liberty continued and it grew into 13 colonies. It was a revolutionary war. And then a divinely inspired constitution guaranteeing a republic form of government for these people that had come from we the people and it gave them strength and it gave them purpose and it gave them direction. And all this was accomplished for one reason, for freedom. And because they had dug down in the dirt with their fingernails and they had liberty in their blood. Now I have a great, great grandmother who was an early pioneer.
He says, I didn't stand so my children wouldn't have to. I stood so my children would know how. We at home now are struggling to support one another and to continue to have a normal life and to stay strong spiritually and with God's help, we are doing well. The hearts of the children are turned to the fathers and the hearts of the fathers are turned to their babies and all of our hearts are lonely and sad. These are my grandchildren. This was taken last year. They would love to have their daddy and grandma home for Christmas this year, again, once again. But I want to tell you that here on the ranch, along with the help of many of these little grandkids that live close to me, we still get down on our knees and we make a we plant a garden and we dig our fists deep into the dirt and we thank our Heavenly Father for freedom and the freedom that comes from this land. And I continue to teach each one of them about, about uh, their heritage, their rich heritage, and for the life and for freedom and for property and to stand up for what is right. Now Peter Marshall said, we may think of freedom not as a right to do as we please, but as an opportunity to do what is right. May we think of freedom not as the right to do as we please, but the opportunity to do what is right. That, my friends, that, my friends, is spirit and strength and conviction. What are you teaching your neighbors? What are you teaching in your home? What kind of example are you being for liberty today? There are many, many, many Americans who have served us in many ways, and I want to say thank you. There is no way that I will ever be able to pay it forward, but I will try until my dying day to thank people for all that they've given to me and to my family and to the Bundy 19 through prayers, through help, through hugs, through phone calls, through generous donations. I have hugged more people than I probably ever thought I would hug in my life, and I've enjoyed every bit of it. Another cowboy quote, one of my favorites, says, We may get knocked down on the outside. But the key to living in victory is to learn how to get up on the inside. My desire as a rancher's wife is to endure with dignity and to have those that know me or have known me at some time say she was unstoppable. Not because she did not have failure or doubts, but because she continued despite them. Do not, do not let anyone ever break your soul. You have to stand on your own two feet. There are those who would do absolutely anything in this world to see us fail, to see this great country fail, to see liberty fail. Never, ever, ever give them that satisfaction. Hold your head high. Put a smile on your face, and as I always say, pull yourself up by the bootstraps and stand your ground. But above all, above all, please pray for our sacred constitution. Read it, teach it, and live it. This picture here was painted by John McNaughton. It's called Pray for we all love this land of liberty. It's our responsibility to preserve it for our posterity. We must stand together for freedom. It is a battle that must be won. And it starts with you and you and you and even me. It has to be won. Liberty, liberty, my friends, is in your blood too.
let's do whatever it takes. And then, with the heart of the Western cowboy, this is spirit, this is strength, this is conviction, this is America. It is your time to come forward, to defend, to make it right. Let's saddle up and ride. Ride for the brand, cowboy. Ride for liberty. We've got a job to do. Let's get her done.